As you can see, I've got a couple of different books of Jack and the Beanstalk that I found in the year one and year two classrooms this week. So I'm going to read one of them to you. I'm sure that a lot of you will have a Jack and the Beanstalk story at home. So it doesn't really matter what version or what your book cover looks like. I'm sure that the story will be quite similar to the one that we are using this week. So Remember that Jack and the Beanstalk is a traditional story and I want you to just to have a think about what it is that makes a traditional story. We've done lots and lots of work in year two thinking about what that means, about the language that we are going to expect to see in the story, but also about how the story is going to have a message. So when I read the story to you, just have a think about what you think the message of Jack and the Beanstalk is going to be. So what I might do over the next couple of weeks is I might read some from this version or this version as well. But I am going to read from this one to help us with our work for this week. So here is the front cover. And on the back, as always, there is a little bit of blurb to give us a little bit of a insight into what the story is going to be. And it says, when Jack sells his cow for five magic beans, they grow into an enormous beanstalk with a giant surprise at the top. So it gives us a little bit of information about the story, but it doesn't give it all away. We have to look inside for some more information. I did notice that some of you have got this actual book at home, so hopefully you will be able to use that for your work this week. But as I said, if you haven't got this version, but you have got a Jack and the Beanstalk story, that's absolutely fine too. Jack and his mother were very poor and all they had was one cow. One day Jack's mother said, go and sell our cow and bring back the money to me. Jack took the cow away to sell, and on the way he met a man who wanted to buy the cow. Now what you can do on this page here is have a look at this man. What sort of character does he look like? He looks, I think he looks like a very interesting character, maybe not somebody that you would meet every day on your way to market. So think about maybe what expanded noun phrases you can use to describe him. Jack looks quite happy. I don't think the cow looks very happy to be going to market. I have no money, said the man, but I will give you five magic beans for your cow. That's a lovely expanded noun phrase there, five magic beans. All right, said Jack, and he gave the man his cow. Jack took the beans back to his mother, but she was very angry. These beans are no good to us, she said, and she threw the beans out of the window. Here they are, out of the window onto the ground. The next day when Jack woke up, he saw a giant beanstalk outside his window. I want to climb to the top, said Jack. My goodness, it's all poking through into his window. It's grown so quickly. Maybe in this part of the story, you could think about actually, how are you going to describe the beanstalk as well as giant? It's green, it's leafy, it's thick, it's tall. Some lovely adjectives and describing words there that you could use. You could also perhaps describe how Jack is feeling at this part of the story as well. Maybe excited, maybe worried about what his mum's going to say. Jack started to climb the beanstalk. No, Jack, no, said Jack's mother. But Jack climbed up and up to the very top of the beanstalk. Jack saw a giant castle with a giant door. And when he opened the door, he saw a giant woman. Look out, said the woman. My husband is coming and he will eat you up. Some lovely exclamation marks there. Perhaps you could use those in your writing too. Fee, fi, fo, fum, watch out everyone, here I come, roared the giant. <gasps> you must hide, said the woman, and she hid Jack in the cupboard. Now this is the start of where we see this repeated language in our traditional tales. Let's see if what other repeated language we see in this story. 
The giant came in and sat down at the table with some giant bags of money and he started to count his money. Jack watched him from inside the cupboard. You can just see him here peeking out. Soon the giant fell asleep and Jack came out of the cupboard and took all the money. Then he climbed down the beanstalk and gave the money to his mother. Not long after, Jack wanted to climb the beanstalk again. No, Jack, no, said his mother. But Jack said, I must. Hmm, I wonder why his mum is saying, no, don't go up. But he's saying that he must. Maybe have a think about that. Jack saw the giant woman again. Look out, she said. My husband is angry because the money has been stolen. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Watch out, everyone. Here I come, roared the giant. She seems like quite a nice, kind lady. Maybe we can think about how we would describe her in our writing as well. You must hide in the cupboard, said the woman. The giant came in and sat down at the table and he had with him a magic hen. The magic hen laid golden eggs. Jack's looking, thinking, oh, that might be something I could take to help mother. Very soon, the giant fell asleep and Jack came out of the cupboard and took the hen. Then he climbed down the beanstalk. The next day, Jack climbed the beanstalk again. And at the top of the beanstalk, he saw the giant woman. Looks like she's doing a bit of cleaning there. Look out, said the woman. My husband is angry because his hen and his money have been stolen. Fee, fi, fo, fum, watch out everyone, here I come, roared the giant. You must hide in the cupboard again, said the woman, and the giant came in with a magic harp. Oh, it looks like a magic glittery harp here. Maybe think about some other words that we could use to describe that. He sat down at the table and the harp started to play. Soon the giant fell asleep and Jack came out of the cupboard and took the harp. Then he started to climb down the beanstalk. Run away, said the woman. The giant is behind you. Oh, it sounds like maybe she's saying that loudly because there's an exclamation mark there or maybe because she's giving a command. Run away. Don't forget those in your writing as well when you are putting your pre-write together. Jack climbed down the beanstalk with the angry giant behind him. And when Jack was at the bottom, his mother cut down the beanstalk. Crash! And that was the end of the giant. She's got the axe here as well. So maybe include that bit in your story about how she cut down the beanstalk. Now Jack and his mother were not poor and they lived happily ever after. Remember, that is the language that we expect to see at the end of a traditional tale. So, hopefully you can use that reading of the story, Jack and the Beanstalk, to help you now with your work this week.